Morning folks, Andy here and welcome back on board Potemkin. Look at this glorious day, Sunday morning, probably about half past eight, something like that. So, back to the boat after yesterday's endeavours, finishing that uh, doorway at the back. So, today we're going to start putting some boards on and making some troughs that go down these gunnels to carry the electrics. Feels like actually getting somewhere now. I think once some boards are on the walls, it'll look totally different. So, quite excited about getting those on. You know, it's a... Uh, you seem to go a long time without achieving anything, it's, uh, it is coming on, so that's what we're doing. We'll start on here, get some boards along here. I can't really finish that side because I've still got to cut a window out and I've got to sort of decide exactly where the bathroom is. So I keep changing my mind, so anyway, don't worry about that today. I'm going to get some of these boards. Right, we're going to get this first board here. So that's 18mm ply. And it's coming on this section here. So we've got to cut out for that hatch. We'll cut it shy of the hatch here. I want it bang up to it. And that'll be the first one on. And then we'll get another one on here and then decide where we're going to put the next one. So the ply is going to sit in here. See I've got a gap there. Don't normally use 18mm ply. I think it's sort of 9mm-ish maybe on the sides. Maybe 12mm. I don't, not really sure. You can use what you want but I don't think the boat builder would put anything as thick as that on. So, but I've got that gap there. So that's what we're going to do, fill it up with that. And then we've got 50mm and, <laughs> and sort of 20mm MDF uh, plywood. So I've got 70mm thick walls then. So that's hopefully is going to keep the heat in. But it can get far too hot on these boats in the winter. <coughs> Once the motor fuel stove's on. But mainly in the summer. Because you're in a steel tube. You know, it's baking hot, the steel gets red hot, it transmits through. So hopefully this is going to work better. I've got 70 mil for it to get through. Now before, when it was as the boat was, it did have thick, it, the walls were this thick because it was the original wooden shell of the boat that was attached up to the back of the steel there. So it was that thick, you know, the especially with the cladding on the outside of that, that went to the new steel top. So it had a good insulation, this boat, it was really good. So that's going to sit in there anyway. So I'm going to mark that out for that opening and drop it in. That's 1390 tight. So that plate there is actually leaning. As I can see now looking at it, it has a lean on it. That's the outside back there. I never realised that, but it doesn't matter. I'll just cut that to suit. So it'll fit up. Um, square there and then I'll cut that opening out so I'm going to have to trim that board a bit to that. It's quite useful that just sits there so what I'm going to do to make life easier so I don't have to mess around with measuring really so much is hold that up there you can see that doesn't go back to the wall because this is stopping it the angle so if I mark that then we'll go from nothing to that I'll trim that and then that'll snug up there and then I'll put it back in and using one of my props I can push it up tight into that wall go outside and mark round the hatch open. Get that board out, <laughs> get back out on the arm. 
So making a handle to attach to it so I can lift it. There's always something in there. Right, I've attached that, hopefully I'm just going to lift it out. now flips out nicely so every board I'll have to screw one of them on to get it in and out if I need to I'm just going to cut that taper off now off it back up but it's hard on board you haven't got a lot of it. So put that in now. Uh, I'll get some cops and get that. Uh, there is another job I forgot to do, and that is just to leave that angle there because you know it is on a, an angle at the top. It's not a square, so I need to uh, just relieve that angle simply with the jigsaw running down it and. Then it will go up and will flush at this front edge because it is going to be lifted up a bit when it's in there. It's not sat on on the steel, when it's up above the steel. So should any condensation or anything get in there, it's not going to creep up the board. So I'll just run down with this. Take a little bit of barley shot back room, but it's just first fixed now. this panel out so there we have it across the door so if I mark down that that's it so we marked off on the other side release that take the couple of screws out I'll put it to put it to the steel take it down and we'll have it cut out. the internals of the door frame so I'm going to mark mark around that and get half inch clearance all the way around and it will just so sit down nicely. Getting into clearance around it don't make things that are tight up 
give yourself a rule, I don't know, I need to make them tight to the ducks, you know. Describe it to the roof, there's some bow in the roof. It doesn't bow on the top, so don't really mind none of that scene anyway. That's all covered up. So that's it. First panel in and achieved something which I'm happy about. The flat bolt's nearly finished. Right. I'll just be to fake some varnish and to seal the back and the edges and what have you. So the next thing is I need to put out for this. So bam.
<laughs> we gave him 15 mil clearance all the way around on this because we have to get that insert in. So this is what we've got to cut out. that one relieved on the back to compensate for that angle up there we're just going to try it in before I cut that out a little bit bit of a gap there so we'll just take it off and we'll leave that from nothing to that it'll butt up nicely then Right, that's that cut out, so it should just fit up there now, so we'll get it on and have a look. <laughs> spotty dog, hey, spotty dog. Spot on that. Or as Johnson put it, 
So, it's a little bit tight at that end, so we'll just have to have it off again and just trim the top, square it to that roof a bit. And that's on then. Right, so scribe along there with a pen, drop it off and just saw along it. That's it. That should be enough to allow that to go up now. That's it. <laughs> so that's how they're going to go all the way down this isn't the top board there's a six milli board to go on top of this which is the fascia board you know that's going to be painted so i think you're just having flat boards on here straight flat boards and i bought some uh, reeded boards that go on the ceiling so they've got reeds all the way down look like you know like butted up joints uh, I don't want to <laughs> we'll trim up with some real timber and what have you I'm not bothered about all the oak effect and all that I like a bit of light light coloured boat you know because they are dark so I like you know get some reflective surfaces I think anyway that's my preference Nothing wrong with having oak and all that, they look nice. But, uh, that's what I'm going for anyway. So that's going to be... Right folks. Come outside for some fresh air. We'll get these... Uh, and we'll get these frames made up. them and two of them for each one
<laughs> Not very good. Oops. Get near that side. That's it. They're a bit big, them screws. But you'll have to do for today. So we're gluing and screwing. So we'll have a, a full run of glue down each edge. not to get covered in it if I could have done this with a nail gun instead of screwing and I thought about it the pre-drill so it's split it we'll split the plywood if we don't bit's gone in now. That's annoying because that's a cobalt bit that I've just dropped in. That's trouble with these cheap drills. Often the chucks are crap. Just get rid of this glue. And then we'll give it a coat of varnish, this, on the outsides. Give it better to seal things if you can. You'll never, you'll never see it again. But if it's sealed, you know, you do get moisture in boats no matter what you do. That back of stuff. So you're going to give it a chance, aren't you?
Right, we won't get some varnish and get it on. <laughs> right, I've been got some varnish earlier. I didn't realise it's a varnish stain, not that it matters. It's just a water based varnish. So we'll, we'll give it a coat to that. dried up so I'm try setting it out under here now uh, we'll trim top of these off about 20 mil off of them so it'll sit along sort of this line so that's what I'm going to do score along the uh, chop the insulation off uh, where required a straight line all the way across and we'll um, then that'll sit in rest on them and then I'm going to try and screw it to these uh, gunnels. So anyway, we're making up as we go along. But it'll work, don't worry. Cheers, by the way. I'm ready for one beer. Right, we'll have another go at that because I made a mistake there. I glued these inside this up to the edge when they wanted to go on the top. And I want that distance about 100 mil. So sockets can go on. And well, whatever. I don't know what I'm putting there, but the electrics will all go in there, so I wanted to. Decent gap there. Certainly sockets. Maybe some type of lighting. So like gunner lighting on, on uh, along there. I don't know. So I'll just cut that down again. So I have to cut it like 40 mil to compensate for that thickness. So this should just sit in. And that's it. That's how I've designed it. And then I put it together on. Must be the heat. So, probably to look out like it. So that will have a thing, the plate on on the front of there, and then be blinded by a timber down there. So when that's in, that will have a all the way along it, solid timber, 12 milli, 15 mil, something like that, thick. And we we'll to cut out foot sockets that will require maybe lights, like I say, I don't know. We'll see, make it up as we go along. So it'll have a front on it, and then that'll have a piece of timber that goes up there and blinds all that. So it'll be a nice tulip wood front. And then a tulip wood piece, thin piece, overlaps there and blinds all that. So it's got the look all right. So anyway, it's going on a bit now, all day again. Don't look like your Chivo, been here all day. And uh, we've got two pieces on. Start work on your own. Just handling them. But it looks like I'm, I'm happy with it because I'm getting something back in. It's all being stripped out and I'm just putting the Solitex in and a piece of timber to support whatever. So now it is getting rebuilt and um, it should not take too long to have it looking really like a boat. I hope for next week I'll have the the ceiling's done as well. Uh, about nine metres of it I've got bored I think. 
probably halfway down. And that will leave a gap at the side like that. And then uh, we'll be building. So when when the, uh, the ceiling panel's on, I think it leaves a hundred mil, so four inches there, so it'll run to there. And what I'm going to do here is have a panel on an angle like that, and that'll all the way down, and then the lights will be cut into that, and all the wiring for that will be running there, so it's all in one place, everything's in that, or it's in that, and that's makes sense to me. So if you need to get in for help, you can do plus you've not got wires coming up and down walls and that, it's just a, a, a nonsense, you know. So anyway, well that's it for the weekend folks, that's still a day's work, right down there, and that. Anyway. That's it, I'll well, clear up, sit down, finish my beer, and uh, that'll be about it for today. Okay then, hope you're enjoying the, the vlog, and uh, if you are, if you'd like to like and subscribe, that'll be very kind of you. Thank you very much, two hours.